Whew. There is a ton of chatter these days about protecting forests for the sake of storing carbon to help mitigate the impacts of climate change. And most of the time, you hear quite a bit about protecting tropical forests from logging and development, and even tons of tree planting happening down around the equator at a fraction of what it would cost to do those very same things in global north countries like Canada, the US, and Western Europe, thanks largely to the colonial capitalist systems in which we live, which create massive wealth inequalities all around the world. Now, don't get me wrong, it is absolutely critical that we keep those tropical forests intact to maintain biodiversity and ecological function within a changing climate. But as far as carbon storage goes, are those really the forests we should be focusing on? See, something that's not commonly understood about forests is that those in more temperate regions actually store more carbon than tropical forests do as a result of cooler temperatures and drastic seasonal shifts that limits the amount of decomposition that fungi, bacteria, and insects are all able to do, which keeps higher levels of carbon in organic matter and the soils for much longer. For example, tropical forests in the Amazon are very warm, humid, and damp, conditions that bacteria and fungi thrive in year-round, and they store about 350 metric tons of carbon per hectare, whereas boreal forests up north are frozen for over half the year with very little decomposition happening and they store just over 700 metric tons, nearly twice as much as the Amazon. But in slightly more productive temperate forests, the amount of carbon held is absolutely staggering. See, old growth forests like this one here in British Columbia store about 1,300 metric tons of carbon per hectare, and eucalyptus forests in southern Australia store about 1,900. But the world record here goes to the California redwoods, where mature old growth forests store about 2,600 metric tons of carbon per hectare, or more than seven times the amount stored in the Amazon. While they all are incredibly important, not all forests are the same, so it's time we stop treating them as so. In addition to protecting all these various forest types from the Amazon to the Boreal for biodiversity, ecological resilience, and function in a changing climate, if we really want to sequester and store the most carbon possible to help mitigate the impacts of anthropogenic climate change, then we need to be focusing on restoring and protecting remaining temperate old growth forests here in Canada, the USA, and elsewhere all over the world.